three weeks from tonight, we'll be doing an entirely different show. Football Friday night kicks off with our biggest, bestest season ever. And we really think at least a few Central Ohio teams are going to be around for state championship weekend in Columbus. Perhaps Bishop Hartley will be one of those teams, and it would not be surprising. The Hawks aiming for their fifth region title in six years. State semifinalists in Division 5. Coach Birchfield says this team could be one of the best he has had. Quarterback Jake Ruby already committed to play baseball at Ohio State. And Karee Hickman leads a powerful backfield. This is our favorite time of year. I mean, you're building the team, you're building the camaraderie, you are, uh, you know, you're taking them from, you know, whatever they are and building them into one cohesive unit. This is my favorite time of the year. It's like a brotherhood. It's like having an extra family out here, being able to play football with your brothers and get to beat on other people sometimes. That is a benefit. A quick reminder to follow our Football Friday Night Twitter and Facebook pages to stay up to date on all high school football news. Twitter, at NBC4FFN, Facebook, just search and like for Football Friday Night. And among the five schools in the Central Catholic League, Bishop Hartley stand out. And I don't say that because I went to school there. The Hawks may have their best team since they won the state championship five years ago. The Hawks feature a talented backfield. Kareem Hickman ran for 28 touchdowns last year. And quarterback Jake Ruby, he's back and returns to lead the offense. Elsewhere in the league, DeSales features one of Ohio's best defensive backs in Austin Andrews. He's headed to Michigan State next year. And the Stallions, they won 10 games last year, but need to replace many starters. Waterson? At two years far off their usual pace, so the Eagles and Coach Dan Bajelic have hunkered down for a jump back up. We talk about all the great teams we have to play and how well you have to play to play them. I mean, we know how good uh, how good Waterson is and how, how hard they're working and how hard the sales is working and how important those games are for us. And, uh, you know, that, that's plenty of motivation. We don't have to be led anymore. We lead ourselves, you know what I mean? So just us being, having more opportunities to be better and be great. Uniforms. Toledo Central Catholic versus Hartley. The rain didn't keep this crowd away. Game tied at three in the second. Hartley on their own 12. And quarterback Jake Ruby calls his own number and runs in 88 yards for the touchdown. The Hawks go up 10 to three. The following possession. How about Central Catholic? Now on Hartley's five yard line when Michael Warren, the second, gets stuffed at the line. He fumbles the ball. And Curry Hickman recovers for Hartley. Hartley goes on to win 20 to 16. East oh, hello there. Uh, two of the best smaller division teams in the state meeting tonight at Bishop Hartley, defending Division Three state champ Toledo Central Catholic in town. It's a big one in the student section at Hartley. The pit, as we called it when I was there. Fired up for this one as the Hawks host Toledo Central Catholic. Second quarter game all tied up at three. And Jake Ruby is playing baseball at Ohio State. Yeah, sure he doesn't want to play football, though. It's an 88-yard touchdown run. And the Hawks take a 10-3 lead. Greg Beal is going to like him on the diamond. Yeah, he's okay. Me. He's all right. Later in the second, Hartley D stepping up. Jack Balkman gets the strip, and Karee Hickman recovers. That stops an Irish drive. And looky here, Hartley gets a big win, 20 to 16, the final, and the Hawks 2 0. Final stop tonight, Fredericktown. Dan. Welcome back. We love Football Friday night, and with it, so much spirit, crazy fans, great student sections across Central Ohio. But one local school, there's a certain mom doing her part, too. In fact, she wants to have the best cheering section in town, and she's creating something a little different in order to make that happen. Heather Ruby is quite the spirited mom, but she has every reason to be. Her son is the star quarterback at Bishop Hartley. Hey, he's not too bad. Oh, come on. He's not too bad. I mean, we'll see. The season's early. Yeah, she may seem calm, but trust me, she's nervous. I am, but um, we'll see what happens. I mean, hopefully everybody's going to protect them and they play well together as a team. That's what it takes. It also takes a loud and proud cheering section. I mean, huge. That's what we want. To help add to that passion, Heather created these. Everybody! From cheerleaders to the crowd, these jugs are catching on. We've just been tweeting, hashtag save the jugs. It all started with a simple idea from this mom who had a plan. When we did it the first time, and we only, there was only three in the stadium, they sounded amazing. I'm like, can you imagine if every single person had a jug, what the other team would think? And the football players would hear it. I don't think they hear the bells. I mean, they may, but I know they don't. So I had to ask, when you guys, when you're coaching, when you're playing, do these jugs make a difference? Oh, yeah. They're, uh, they're really loud. It's awesome. But listen, it's better to... Uh... Have be enthusiastic than not be enthusiastic. It's better to be into it than not be into it. I mean, it's high school football. Each week, Heather, along with some helpers, make jug after jug. I would like to see one in every person's hand. However, let's hope at least 100. 
Now that's a lot of jugs, and they've had to make some changes along the way, including taping the lids on. As with anything, practice makes perfect. So we've had a couple um, spills and some rocks and popcorn and things have spilled out in the stage, but that's okay. Everybody's getting used to it. Now we're, we're safe. They've also tried different things to fill these jugs. Pinto beans seem to work pretty well. Yes, pinto beans and plastic can make a lot of noise, but this effort has done something even better. You wouldn't believe um, how close the families have gotten together over jugs. I mean, at, you're walking through and they're shaking them and looking at you and saying, hey, so everybody's coming together, uh, they're tighter. I'd have to say because of the jugs. Well, they worked last night. Hartley won, I think it was 20 to 16 against defending champion Toledo Central Catholic. And Jake Ruby, who you saw in that story, the quarterback had an 87 yard touchdown run. 87 yards. And he said it was all because of the jugs. All right, well. He didn't really say that. <laughs> 87 is over high temperature for today. St. Charles back. Can't wait for week four of high school football tomorrow night. How about this matchup? Bishop Hartley against St. Francis de Sales. The Hawks are 3-0, including a win over the defending state champions from Toledo Central Catholic, but a tough matchup against 2-1 St. Francis de Sales. And, you know, bragging rights go a great deal for young people. I mean, it's... Uh, um, the opportunity not to have bragging rights done on them is probably more of a motivator than being able to brag. Hope you join us tomorrow on first and three and all hardly hosting two and one to sale second quarter to sales up a three to nothing and on the move Austin Andrews in for the touchdown stallions led 10 to nothing and then it's the defense coming up big Sean Snyder the interception for the stallions right there the Hawks do come back Jake Gilmore in for the touchdown the sales though goes on to win 38 to 27. Good game there. Battling with Bishop Hartley. Hawks up 17-3 in the third quarter. Nice moves, ladies. Cardinals with the ball. Davion Johnson looks to throw, but keeps it instead. He runs 12 yards to pick up the first down. So same drive now, fourth and goal on the one-yard line. Johnson handed it off to Allen Smith. Look at this spin move. Oh I love it. In for the score. Hartley wins, though, 31-10. Just what Braxton Miller does. Yes. Next stop, two words, Hartley Reedy. One of the great Central Ohio rivalries, both teams at 6-3 entering the night, but the Hawks running all over the Knights. Curry Hickman on the pitch and watch him drag tacklers over the goal line Man, for the alive. game's first Man. touchdown. <laughs> Later, Richard Jones, the third on the sweep, and you're not catching him. 57-yard touchdown. That made it. Wow, look at him run. 14-3. <laughs> Final score, 40-3. Hawk, Hawks soar over their rivals. Hartley's already headed to the playoffs and will host. Reedy will have to wait and hope on what Newark Catholic does tomorrow versus Watkins Memorial. That was highly entertaining. Oh. But Hartley traveling to take on Bishop Reedy. And Gill, our friend Gill. No, Reinhardt. Yeah, first quarter, Hawks up 7-0. Reedy's Dominic Lombardi's pass complete to Tristan Symier. And the flag gives the Knights a first and goal inside the 10. However, the Knights have to settle for a 17-yard field goal. It rattles through the upright, but it is good for three. And later on, Hawks up 7-3. The handoff to Richard Jones, the third, who takes it. Yes, 57 yards untouched. Ooh. In for the score. He barely yeah. stays in bounds there. And Harley goes on, or the Hawks going to win 40-3. to three. How about Northland visiting Beach? Landor first quarter of this one scoreless until Richard Jones the third grabs the interception and yeah that's going the other way and it would be the team's first touchdown the game's first touchdown I should say seven nothing Hartley Hawks now at 14-7 and query Huck Hickman plows through the hole off to the races sheds the last would-be tackler and he is gone 21 to seven Hartley they win 42 to 14 other scores in Division One. Moving to the regional finals for Division 4, Bishop Hartley at Bellevue. First quarter, Hawks opening drive. Kerry Hickman, four-yard touchdown run. It's 7-0 Bishop Hartley. Second quarter we go, Hawks up by one, but Hickman strikes again. This time with the 17-yard run. He's a big boy right there. Hawks move on by winning 28-20. Division 6, regional finals. 16. Bishop Hartley meeting Bellevue, the Redmen, at Star Tech Stadium in Mansfield. The Hawks on the board first. Kareem Hickman bulldozing his way into the end zone. Bellevue answers back. Bryce Ray easily trots in. 
Two point conversion though, no good. Later, Hartley. Oh, here's two point conversion, excuse me. Going too fast there. Hartley. All right, Dave, thanks a lot. State championship weekend for high school football, Ohio Stadium, the place to be, Division Four. Saturday night at 8 p.m., the 11 and three Hawks of Hartley taking on 13 and 0, the Big Red of Steubenville. Hawks out to win it all. It's always really special. I mean, we, we're never going to take it for granted. I mean, it is a unique experience that this is what the kids and the coaches and our community dream of. We set goals as a team, and this is one of the goals. Just to accomplish that goal is just it's, it's a great thing. To be able to, like, go as far as we possibly can in our season, it's a blessing. Shoe is lit up tonight with the high school football championships now underway. Bishop Hartley playing Saturday night against powerhouse Steubenville. And the football fever's Clay Hall now to show us why playing for a title is a tradition for the Hawks. Get them out! For the third time in the last six years, the Hartley Hawks will play for the state title. They never take it for granted, despite five straight regional championships. It feels great to be able to play where the Buckeyes play. Uh, it'll just be a great experience. I can't wait. Hickman, touchdown Hartley! Curie Hickman has been the Hawks' go-to guy, running for over 2,100 yards and 29 touchdowns this season alone. <laughs> we have other weapons, but... It wouldn't all be possible without our offensive line. They've stepped up and done what they need to do. Couple that with an opportunistic defense, and the 11-3 and three Hawks will pose quite a threat against the Big Red of Steubenville. They'll take the field Saturday night with distinction. To be the home team, to be the first team in Franklin County to play in Ohio Stadium since the games have come back, there's a great honor and responsibility in that, and we, we take that really, really serious. That's exciting. I mean, it's a home game. Oh, it's going to be great. I know my cousin plays for Ohio State, and it's gonna be, I, he tells me experiences from it. It's, it's going to be great. I'm going to be able to tell my grandkids and their kids about it, so it'll be, it'll be fun. Hartley won the state in 2010 and hopes to do it again, making lifelong memories in the process. I'm Clay Hall, Fox 28 Sports. Ah, I wish him the best. Yeah. Unbelievable stat here. For the third time in six seasons, Bishop Hartley is playing for a state championship tonight. It's an impressive feat for that school as it revives the dominance it had back in the 80s. You remember those days? Our resident Hartley Hawk, Matt Barnes, paid a little visit to his former school and found out what's changed through the years. It is something special, something neat when you, you start in the summer and it's there's a heat advisory and people are, uh, are yelling at you to hydrate and then you end the season and there's Christmas lights and, uh, and it, it's pretty unique and pretty special. It's December in Columbus and the Hartley Hawks are still on the football field preparing for one last game, the state championship in Ohio Stadium. Hey, one, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. It's always a goal of ours now. I mean, when we come together at the beginning of the year, our first goal First, first things first is the state championship. And then we go back and we, we make benchmarks. You know, we got to practice on Thanksgiving. We got to win the CCL. You know, we got to do all those things and we just sort of demand excellence from, them, from each other. This amazing run began in 2010 when the Hawks won their second state title, ending a 24 year drought. You know, the 2010 team, what a great team it was, uh, but it still, it was unknown territory. You know, we were, we were kind of into the final frontier, and now it's, this is the way it is all the time. This is the way it's supposed to be, and if, it, if you're not there, there's a mild sense of disappointment. The Hawks did make it again in 2013, but lost, a feeling some of these Hawks remember all too well. It made me very hungry. Like, I was, I was tired of disappointment because we lost my sophomore year. We made it to state semifinals and lost. Uh, this year we made it, and now we got to finish through this is what you, what you want to do and I mean the kids don't dream anymore they this is what we want to do this is what we want to accomplish this is who we are One, two, three. We from Columbus Matt Barnes NBC4 sports and the Hawks the only local team playing for a state title this year kickoff is against a very tough and undefeated Steubenville team it's tonight at the shoe at eight they could do it you know in honor of the high school state championship games this weekend we are taking a trip down memory lane yes we are as many of you know mindy has been a part of our football friday night broadcast for a <laughs> long time so we went back into the archives and found this clip oh boy <laughs> you guys are reading right no! I, I knew that i knew that all right grove city bands the battle of the bands definitely going to the both schools don't want to blow their perfect record so far. Come over here. No, Mike, over here. The new stadium where Jonathan Alder is for and one. But they're playing Bishop Hartley, who's also for and one. After tonight, only one of these teams will have one. Let's check out the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> During the 
summer, we do what we call our Buckeye bios, mm -hmm. and you get to see another side of these players. Oh my oh gosh, my that's goodness. so funny. That was years and years and years ago. Well, it's time for sports. Audrey Hassan is in. She's got to look at our sports tonight because Matt just happens to be somewhere very important to him tonight. Right, Audrey? Exactly, Cavett. You know, 715 teams started playing high school football in Ohio at the start of the season. Just one Central Ohio team remains in the hunt for the state title this weekend. And to no one's surprise, it's Bishop Hartley. And yes, Matt Barnes was there tonight at Ohio Stadium as Hartley playing for its third state title. Right before the half, Jake Ruby finds Ryan Anderson for the touchdown 21-14 Hawks at the half. And here we go. Second half, Big Ray, they tie it up in the third quarter. Johnny Blue, touchdown plunge, 21 all. How about that one there? Uh, but then the Hawks get the lead right back. Richard Jones the third on the sweep, and away he goes. 64 yards for the touchdown. That'll make it 28-21 Hartley Hawks. That is fantastic as they cheer. I'm sure Barnes was cheering with them. But the Big Red get a big play of their own. Demetri Caleros to Lawrence Burke. All tied at 28. But just wait a second here. The Hawks get the lead back though. Ben Hawk from 40 yards. Kick is good. 31-28. Steubenville needing a score now in the final minute, but Polaris picked off by Cody Kirkbride, and that does it. Hartley wins it 31-28. You're state champs. You're the best, and uh, this is the dream, and to play in a game of this magnitude in our own hometown, um, we're a little bit lost for words. I'm, uh, I don't know that it totally sunk in, but uh, we're here, and <laughs> we're going to enjoy it of the day and it asked how did Bishop Hartley do in the Division 4 state championship? You'll have to see Division 4 right now. Bishop Hartley taking on Steubenville. These teams have combined for five state titles and 42 trips to the postseason. First quarter right there. Kerry Hickman with a one yard run. Hawks up 7-0. Second quarter tied at 7. More Hickman again from one yard out. 14-7 Hartley but just before the half the game tied at 14 until Jake Ruby finds Ryan Anderson. Look at that catch. In the end zone, huge play. Hawks up 21-14. Third quarter now, game tied at 21. Richard Jones, the third, up the middle. And he gone up, down, sideways, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Shop until he reaches the painted parts of the shoe. 64 yards. Hawks up 28-21. They smell a championship. But jump ahead to the fourth. Once again, game tied. Not for long. Ben Hawk from 40 yards. And Hawk kicks it for the Hawks. Field goal. Hartley up by three then. Just a minute left. Steubenville driving, but stuffed right there. Bishop Hartley wins their third state championship. Congrats, guys. 31 to 28. It's found a time to win, and, you know, the games are made up of critical moments, and uh, there were a couple of really good ones. And uh... It is rare that the Hartley Hawks are underdogs, but in this championship game, you guys went into it as not the favorite. I would love to introduce to you their first time on TV as state champions, the Bishop Hartley Hawks and Coach Brad Birchfield. My gosh, you were here five years ago and you did it again. Yeah, really exciting, really proud. It was a, a great game. Uh, we were the underdogs, but uh, we embraced that and a lot of fun. You were the underdogs because you faced the Big Red. Steubenville's undefeated, strong every year. I want to talk about some of the highlights from the game because there were so many. Both of you guys scored a lot. You did a great job on that, but when your defense had to step up, you did. Yeah, so many players, I think anytime you win, a lot of people have to contribute. It can never be one or two people, and uh, so many people contributed in so many different ways uh, to get the victory, and uh, that's how you end up as a champion. And who made that catch right there? That was me. Uh-huh. How'd that feel? Uh, you know, it felt great. You know, scoring in the shoe, uh, once in a lifetime opportunity, so I uh, just had to make the best of it. I want to talk about that because the games were moved back to Columbus inside the shoe. What was that like for you guys to play in that environment? It was just, it was great knowing that we had the entire backing of Columbus, you know, having Steubenville come, what, like two and a half hours. Right. We had to drive 20 minutes and we had the whole entire city at our back. It felt great. Yeah, the crowd was so loud for you guys. I think one of the key moments, though, toward the end of the game, it was fourth and one, and you guys had to come up with a stop. And you did just that. What were you thinking? You know, so we watch Coach Birchfield all season long, and he does the sign of the cross. Do you do that more before a play like that or after a play <laughs> like amount, that? Same amount. Same <laughs> amount. We all need prayer, so same amount. Um, but, yeah, it was a huge play. And, uh, you know, we'd had a couple 
opportunities to get get them stopped and a team that good you know, you're not going to get them stopped all the time but you know the critical moments are what uh, what the game's made out of and the kids stepped up and made a huge play and I have to ask you guys too you who poured the water on coach that was me you did that, that did me. you freeze no oh you're uh, you can't feel anything at a, at a moment like that as uh, you know you never get used to it and uh, you always appreciate it and uh, you, we'd love to have it dumped on us anytime you know what I don't think a lot of people realize? These are seniors here today. Your senior year, you win the state title. But you've been to the Final Four your freshman year, your sophomore year, your junior year, and then, of course, this year. What was that like for you guys? You will leave with Hartley with such great memories. I mean, it's incredible. You know, I've been playing football for 14 years now. I've played 58 games out of 60. And finally, being able to finish finished the right way. Yeah. It's just incredible. And I'm so glad I got to do it with my brothers here. Well, what do you guys say? Do you ever do a huddle, one, two, three, Hartley Hawks? What do you guys say? We'll end out like that. We say, uh, we say it changes week to week. We said win state. So, uh, let's do that. State champs, I suppose. Let's state do state champs. champs on the count of three. Right. Ready, guys? One, two, three. State, state champs. champs. <laughs> How's that, Harrison? Ah, I love it. Congratulations to the Bishop Hartley. All right, welcome back to Friday Night Live. It is awards season after all, and we've got our own awards. The Football Friday Night Ohio Army National Guard Awards for the season. Player and Team of the Year. We have some tremendous winners here. Bishop Hartley, our Team of the Year, and our Player of the Year is Ridge Durbin from Danville High School. Now, Danville Division 7 school made the state semifinals this year, Ridge, but you individually, you had one of those seasons that you really can't even fathom. You played 14 games, 54 pass touchdowns, 21 rush touchdowns, how do those numbers register with you as you've wrapped up your career here? Um, it's pretty crazy. I mean, got to thank the line up front and the receivers for getting open. Without them, numbers wouldn't have been that high. And that isn't even just that. You also play defensive line. Yeah. So you thank yourself, in a way, on the other line uh, <laughs> scrimmage. But t talk about being a player of that versatility, I suppose. Is it important to you? Um, yeah, I take pride in it. Um, I like playing both sides of the ball. I don't like being on the sidelines. It's not fun watching the game. I want to play. I agree with that. You're also a 4.0 student, which isn't bad, I hear. Yeah. So congratulations on your entire career. The folks in the Ohio Army National Guard have a rather mammoth trophy to give to you. Congratulations, Thank Ridge. You. Thank you. Our football Friday night player of the year. That's some awesome heart. That's going to look really good up in Danville High School. Bishop Hartley is our team of the year, and for obvious reasons, the only Central Ohio school to win a state championship. Coach Brad Birchfield, a couple of his seniors are here. Uh, first of all, who we got? Ryan Anderson, defensive back, wide receiver, played a great game in the, uh, had the fourth and one stop in the state championship, as well as the go-ahead touchdown right before half. And then Ryan Reed, who's been a four-year uh, player for us and our starting center and captain, uh, really heartbeat of our offensive line. Incredible season you all put together. You play such a tough schedule every year. How did that get you ready for the playoffs, and in particular, a great opponent like Steubenville in the final? Yeah, there's no surprises. I know somebody asked during the week, uh, are you going to be intimidated when you play right. Steubenville? And I don't want to be disrespectful. We play great football teams every week. We're part of a great league, and uh, those teams all expect to do well, and, and they're right in the mix. So uh, we're at least conditioned to a great opponent. Now the second state championship for Harley the past five years, and they are deserving of the Football Friday Night Team of the Year Award. Look at this thing. Are you serious? Look at Just come on in here. That is spectacular. You get a full-size lid. Straight from the Ohio Army National Guard. We appreciate you their much. support all season. Congratulations, Congratulations to Bishop Hartley. Congratulations to Ridge Durbin of Danville, our football Friday night season ending award winners. Matt? Way to wrap things up. We'll switch gears to high school football. You know, it was just over a week ago that the Hartley Hawks won the state championship in football. A shining moment as the Hawks win a Division IV state title by knocking off Steubenville 31 28. This is the school's third state championship. You know, they also won it in 2010 and in 1986. The Hawks finished the year at 12 and 3, but more importantly, they are the best in Division IV. And we are joined by Coach Brad Birchfield and by senior offensive tackle and captain Ross Worthman and by kicker Ben Hawk. Coach, this is your second state title. Uh, uh, you know, 2010 was the last one. Is it more special this time or, you know, because you, you, you never know. There's so many coaches that would just love to to get to the playoffs, let alone win the whole shooting match. Yeah, I think it's just as special. I don't, I don't know that it's more special. It was certainly really exciting to to play in a high stadium and uh, in front of our home fans and kind of make it a home game. And it was such a great, memorable game beating such an awesome opponent. So it was certainly 
uh, an outstanding experience. All right, Ben Hawk, uh, with what, uh, what, just under five minutes to go, you kicked that field goal. Turns out to be the game winner. You know, kickers dream about that. I mean, uh, were you nervous? And, and when you went through, what was, it, what was the feeling? Uh, yeah, I was definitely nervous a little bit, but uh, as we uh, stepped out to hit the game, you know, or as we stepped out to hit the kick, it was well, nothing but confidence, you know. I knew my uh, holder, uh, Jack Boffman, and my snapper, Ryan Reed, have been perfect all year, and I expected nothing else this time. So it was nothing but confidence in our practice and our ability, and I was confident that we would make it. And more importantly, Coach had confidence in you. You know, would you, you, you remember what you said to him before you said him? No, out? you know, we, we practiced it a ton, and... Uh, Felt pretty good. Felt like we had a pretty good shot at it. You never know for sure, but uh, felt like we had a pretty good shot at it. Rob, obviously, this is this is a dream of every football player to win a state championship, and uh, you guys did it. You did it as your senior year. You're a captain. How special is this? And and just the feeling, the brotherhood. What are you going to miss the most? I guess. Um, I am going to miss the brotherhood a lot. Um, I've known all like all my teammates since fourth grade. Um, it's it's just been a great experience, and there's no way to go uh, better way to go out than on top. When you look at what you guys were able to accomplish, Rob, you know, you, you, you think about all the hard work you put in the summer and, and everything that went into this. What's the one thing that stands out you will always remember about this club? Um, I'll always remember that how, um, all of us were putting in extra effort, um, extra conditioning. Um, we're never going to the line, we're going through the line. We had a plus two mentality. And that means, you know, if we had to get two yards, we're getting four yards. If we had to get one yard, we're getting three yards. We, we left no doubt for uh, anyone. Ben, how about this guy, Coach Birchfield? <laughs> what is it that he has? What's his magic? Because uh, obviously, you know, you, you, you got to have the talent and everything, but you got to buy in. You got to believe in whatever his system is. It, it's clearly the, that you guys have bought in. Uh, well, I think Coach Birchfield just has um, a very unique charisma to him. He's a guy that you can know he's going to be serious 100% of the time, but. At the end of the day, you also know he's going to be a friend to you. And I think there was an article earlier this year about how we talk about Star Wars at practice all the time. That's not a lie. <laughs> and so he's just a coach that you know you're going to get work done, you're going to take it seriously. But at the end of the day, you also know that he's going to be there for you and you're going to have someone you can always talk to. Star Wars, what's that about? Well, we're multifaceted, you know, we are a holistic school and uh, we have many different interests. Who doesn't love Star Wars at this time of the year? You got your movie tickets? For of course. So you're, you're, you're a guy that likes Star Wars. Right? Oh, yeah. Who do, what, what American male doesn't? So you, you've, uh, you've done it now twice. You got another one in you? I think so. That's the plan. You know, we're going to work real hard and, uh, you know, you always have the expectation. You know, we're one of those schools that has a legitimate expectation to compete for a state championship. You can't guarantee you're going to be there, but uh, you're going to be in the conversation. Well, Coach, God bless you. Thanks Thank for coming you. down. Guys, thanks Thank for you. coming down. Your state champions, men, they can never take that away from you. Thanks for coming down. You know what else it was today? It was an NFL Sunday here in the Buckeye State. Johnny Manziel making the start for the Browns.